So right now we are going back to the dog groomer. I got new sunglasses. Okay, bye. Okay. <laughs> so, today we're gonna be doing a Whole Foods taste test. Last video I did a Trader Joe's taste test. So, this one is basically all chips. Um, or like snacking chips, I guess. There we have lentil chips, chickpea chips, lots of chips. So we're gonna dive right in to the more basic, oh my God, more basic chips and salsa. We have two different types of tortilla chips. We have the late July sea salt, thin and crispy, and que pasa. I don't know if I said that right, but these look a little thicker. They're yellow corn. So, I'm gonna try a piece of the chip by itself and then dip it in the salsa. Why did I say it like that? <laughs> dip it in the salsa. Hmm. It's not that salty, which I don't know if I like or not. Typically, tortilla chips have a lot of salt on them. I got that. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> like a piece of the chip got stuck in my throat. It was very dry. Okay. So, <laughs> here we have late July salsa mild, which is the same brand as the other tortilla chips, but. Smells like good salsa, not gonna lie. We're gonna do a little dippity dip, <laughs> a little scoopity scoop. Okay, it's very, very chunky. <laughs> All right. No chunks wanna come out. <laughs> We're just gonna do a little bit of the juice. The salsa isn't that spicy, but it definitely adds flavor to Z chips. To be honest, they're too thick for me, but I could see them being good for like chips and guac or something like this. So yeah. Um, four out of 10. I probably wouldn't buy again. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, next one is late July to go with the salsa. Um, to be honest, I thought these had like lime on them because the bag, the bag was green, but they're just sea salt. Alright, crap. Um, There's a lot of curly ones in here. Yeah. I like these because they're thin and crispy and they have more flavor than the other ones, but let's try it with the salsa. <laughs> All right. It's good. I like it. These I would give seven out of 10. They're not as thin as different chips I've had, but they're definitely better than these. Um, but yeah, I prefer these over these. It basically depends on the thickness of the chip you want. 
The salsa is really good, but it's not that spicy to me. It's good. I like it. I would definitely buy again. Okay. Oh, these were the ones that had the lime on them, but they're the organic chickpea snacks hippies. Um, sea salt and lime. I've had the little puffs of these, like the white cheddar ones. Those are really good. But there's definitely some lime. Cheers. I like these. There's like um kind of like a softness to them, so they're not like too crunchy, but the lime's coming through, it tastes good, it tastes Tastes very good, especially with the salsa. I would definitely buy again. Um, nine out of 10. I feel like they're very simple and easy. These are chickpea chips. These are the Whole Foods brand. So yeah, they seem pretty simple. Just chickpea flour and salt. And there's other ingredients, so. They seem very light and airy. <laughs> they don't have any flavor, so I'm gonna try these with the salsa and see if there'll be like a little scoop for it, but. <laughs> they don't have any flavor to them, but maybe if you have like a dip or something with them, It'll taste better, but this together does not, no. But if they made like a flavored version, I think it would be better. I don't know, not much to say on these. Uh, probably like a two out of 10. Next we have these lentil chips. They are jalapeno, jalapeno. Um, I've never had like anything like this, so I'm excited to try them. I hope they have some spice to them. Otherwise, I'm gonna be disappointed. They look like that. They're like little, um, they look like pita chips, kind of, but. I like these. They have that jalapeno flavor, like, not too much, but enough to, like, get the flavor. They're spicy, but not too spicy. Very light and crispy. I like them a lot. I would get them again. That's good. That's really good. I would give this a 9.5 out of 10. The 0.5 is just because I don't want to give it a 10 because what if these are a 10, you know? You never know. Next we have these sun poppers, which look really cool. Like, look at that. That looks pretty cool and appetizing to me. But sour cream and onion, they're vegan, grain free. Those don't look like the picture at all. They look like very bland compared to the, I mean, I guess. They don't smell like sour cream and onion. They smell like cardboard. They have like the, a hint of flavor, but I, I'm not getting sour cream and onion. But like they're good for like just like, you know, trying to find like a healthier snack or alternative. These could be fun for like, I don't know, any kind of snack because they're just fun to pop. <laughs> but yeah, um, I probably wouldn't buy again just because like, I'd rather have something like this that has like flavor and tastes good. But these just have the texture that probably would be appealing to a lot of people. Like a puff corn type of thing. <laughs> I keep eating them, but they're all right. I would say six out of 10. 
but if I had to choose one, it would probably be between these two. Probably this one, just because you can't go wrong with a tortilla chip, and these these are just good, you know, like. These are just very appealing to me, like the hint of lime and... It just looks like a very appetizing tortilla chip. Like... I don't know. These are very good. I'm gonna have another one. Also, I love this salsa, but I'd probably get a hotter one. But yeah, that was my lovely chip and salsa, basically, taste test. I hope you enjoyed. After this video, there'll be videos about New York and packing and stuff like that. I will see you in the next video. Like and subscribe. Maybe try out some of these snacks. Preferably these ones. These one. This one. Goodbye. Yeah. I had a friend watching me the whole time. <laughs>